In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the DC Diag uh, Domain Controller or Diagnostic Utility to troubleshoot um, domain controllers and check the health of your domain controllers and to test DNS settings. So, what is DC Diag? Um, DC Diag is a uh, Microsoft utility that is used to analyze domain controllers um, in a forest or enterprise you can analyze a single uh, domain controller you can um, or you can um, analyze all of them at once um, in your forest or enterprise so let's uh, take a look at some examples of how to use this command Um, you can use this command remotely or you can use a local on the server but what I have found out is there's some issues with this command running it remotely um, against your domain controllers so for example well let me back up if you want to check the syntax of the command you can just use DC Diag with the question mark Uh, I'll type the command right, dcdiag, and there you will see all of the command line switches um, that are available with this tool. And there is, let me scroll down here. Right, I've got a lot of stuff on my screen. Let me clear my screen and run this again. All right, there we go. So here you can see all of the command line switches. I won't go through all of these. Um, I go through some of these in more details of my blog post. Um, but what I wanted to point out is the list of known tests. This um, command actually runs several tests to get your domain controller. So when I counted, I counted a total of 30 different tests and some tests have um, tests within the test. Um, but unfortunately, the help command menu here doesn't go into very good details on these. Um, but if you check my blog post, there is a link to uh, a blog post by um, Ned Pyle called what does DC Diag actually do um, it goes into more depth on each one of these tests um, so that will help you understand better what this command will do um, but let's take a look at a couple of examples on how to use this command so remotely here to run this against my domain controller I'll do DC Diag and then I've got a do the S switch for server and then all you do is specify your domain controller and hit enter and this all looks good when you do just a, te a test uh, domain controller test there's not any I haven't found any issues running this command remotely um, but it's when you do the DC Diag Test DNS. And sometimes this takes a few seconds here for it to complete. You'll see that it comes back with a missing several DNS records and that's actually not true it's not an issue with DNS or domain controllers it's actually an issue with the command so I'm gonna jump over to my, my domain controller and I'll run the DNS test Okay, so the test DNS command completed 
um, locally on the server and you can see that it is giving no errors um, all the DNS configuration the make controller settings are correct so I would recommend you run this command locally on your domain controllers rather than um, remotely so just to do a basic test all you gotta do on the local server is just type in DC Diag and you'll see here it will run through each test and tell you if it passed or not and I've got a healthy domain controller here I've got no errors on it and if you're curious uh, want more information just to display uh, one good switch to use is the slash V for verbose that will display more information about each test and you can see the difference there it really uh, displayed a lot more information so again, if you're curious um, what more details on each test just use the slash V switch and it will display a lot more details about each test and you can combine if you do a slash C for comprehensive it will run the uh, both domain controller and DNS test at the same time um, you can do a slash A to run against all domain controllers in your forest and then let me show you this one remotely even though I recommend you not run this remotely but if you're on a local DC the slash Q is helpful because the DC diet command can display a lot of information if you want to see just the errors you can do a slash Q and it will just display the errors so if you do that if you do like a slash a to run against all domain controllers again that can uh, display a lot of information you can do just a, a slash Q and that will really uh, just display the, the errors um, and to jump back to the DC diag command just like the domain controller test See, I believe in here it will tell you that the DC the DNS test also runs several tests it'll do a basic test it'll test the DNS forwarders DNS delegation uh, it'll test DNS record registration and I list all this on the blog post uh, I believe that information is also in the help menu here um, but that pretty much is a very simple command to use um, and that pretty much wraps up all of the everything I wanted to cover in this video um, I've got a lot more details um, on my blog post uh, regarding this command with um, several examples with the switches on how to use the command and I've also got some output from a uh, normal running domain controller and then I've got an output on what you would see um, on a failed domain controller. I stopped the KDC service in that logon so you can see what the um, errors look like. Um, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.